You're watching Drake Queen Gaming. Enjoy the video. Hey guys and gals, Nary here from Drake Queen Gaming. It's something to me on Twitter, the Gaming Dragon today. I'm coming back at you another Let's Play episode of Tennis Ace, Case Gay's Path. So y'all, before we jump into it, just wanted to let y'all know that our Patreon is now up. We've got bronze tier for $5, silver tier for $10, and gold tier for $15, each offering their own exclusive rewards and permanent access to our community Discord server. Supporting the channel and interact with the community is as little as $5, y'all, so jump in if you can. It greatly supports the channel. Anyway, let's go ahead and jump right back in. Alarm Chan, you are up, and let's go. No, 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 all right, I'm already out of here. Okay, there we go, okay. Burying my face in my knees, I begin to sob. Sometime later. I don't even know how much time has passed by the time I managed to pull myself back together. I quickly grab my towel, shoving it under my shirt and trying to clean off the drops of blood coming to the surface before they could stain my shirt too visibly. The stains were just too obvious, though. I ended up having to put my school jacket on top just to hide them. When I walk out, Keisuke and Alex are waiting for me with barely anyone else around. There you are. I was starting to get worried. Alex said you remembered something you needed to do. I look up at the two of them, quickly averting my gaze when Alex's eyes look in my direction. Yeah. There was someone I needed to talk to. Are you okay? You seem... I can't quite put my finger on it. I'm fine. It's, it's not a big deal. It's just an awkward conversation with someone I know. If you say so. I was just worried you were taking a while. I'm sorry, I lost track of time. That's not a lie. Shall we get going? Sure. I was getting a bit tired of waiting around. Then again, I'm sure you'd have felt the same if you kept waiting for me to shower and dry myself off when you have nothing to do. You did seem to take your time with your shower. Don't get on my case. You know how long it takes me to properly dry my fur. Should we buy you a should we buy you a stronger hand dryer? Are you kidding? The one I have already comes close to singeing my fur as it is. Good point. The two begin walking home with absent my with me absent mindedly walk following behind them. Oh, that reminds me, Alex. I'm going to need to get more to get more fur care lotion. Would could we go out to buy some tomorrow? Your assets have been seized, remember? You will need to put in a requisition to have it bought for you, especially considering how expensive the lotion you normally use is. Ugh, right. I'd forgotten about it. Do not worry. I do not think they'd take too long to get it. They'll likely approve of whatever you ask for right away. They're only doing this to make you feel how much you depend on them. I know that. It doesn't mean I don't still hate it. I can understand that feeling. Those two talk normally as if nothing had even happened. It's scary just how Alexander can go on pretending while there is no problem. In case K, he's really been acting like nothing's happened since yesterday. Even with Saya-chan, the only other person to notice his bruise asked about it. He just made up a lie on the spot about getting hit in the face with a ball during yesterday's practice. How can these two keep appearances so easily? I can barely even bring myself to drag my feet on the floor. I want to crawl into a hole and die, so how, how do they do it? Forgive me the indiscretion, but I do believe I have to ask. When do you plan on going back home? Hmm, not for a couple more days at least. I want to be as far away from that place as possible. At least for a little while. Do you not worry? Do you not worry you could inconvenience him? Alex looks back to me and to me and a, looks back behind me and at me. His gaze immediately causes me to straighten my back again, putting on the best fake fake smile I can muster. Like, well, a little bit. You wish you said it was fine, though. Yeah, I. Even if he says it, isn't there some concern over how it is for his family? You barely even know his mother, don't you? Wouldn't it be inconvenient for you to stay for so many days? Like, uh, you're probably right. I do want to spend time with him, though. You could alternate, spend a few days at my apartment, and then go back to his house for your last day before you return. Would that not be more appropriate? A chill runs its way down my spine when I finally realize what is happening. He's trying to convince Keisuke to leave. He doesn't want me to be around Keisuke. When I notice that, I start to panic a little bit. I suppose so. Is it really, it's really no problem. You can stay with me as long as you want. The words leave my mouth before I can properly think about it. More of a plea than anything, and a pitiful one at that. Please, no, don't leave yet. Anything but that. C calm down, Yuichi. I know how you feel. I'm just trying to be considerate of your family. While Keisuke, Manu While Keisuke answers, me, answers me without noticing anything has gone wrong, Alexander glares at me, clearly unhappy with my choice of words. Are you sure about that? I know it must be tiring to change your routine so suddenly. Was it not tiring to have Keisuke over, over for all of last night? No, I... What did you two even do last night? Did everything go well? That's, um... Yes? Oh no, is Alex gonna ask about it here? Now? Second, y'all. It is water time. Crack this one open and have a nice cold lemon. Golly me, do I love me some sparkly water. You get like a pick of that drawn or something. Just me like chugging some kind of bubbly water in the background. He, he wouldn't. 
Yes, everything went pretty well. We had a lot of fun, actually. Oh? It's not like we were up to a lot. We hung out, watched some TV together, played a few games. Yuichi cooked for me. Oh, I got to know his brother a little bit better, too. I think Akiyoshi-kun and I might... might have some things in common. I'm just glad I had... I'm just glad to have given a good impression. I see. That it certainly is desirable. So there were no hiccups? Hmm. Nothing that jumps out at me right away. Unless I did something way inappropriate without noticing. Did I do anything like that, Yuichi? What? N no, of course not! Whoa, you seem a little pale. Are you sure you're alright? I'm fu- KSK is right. You do look unwell. Perhaps it would be best to let him rest. Why don't you spend the night at my apartment and we can talk things through and come to a decision over what you'll do for the next few days after that? Yeah, that might be for the best. I really don't want to tax Yuichi so much when he's looking like that. B but I- I can't. I can't come up with any words to protest. Without letting anything slip, Alex easily steered the momentum of- easily steered the situation to the outcome he wanted. What is there for me to even do against that? In that case, we should head to the station. We'll have an easier time finding a taxi there. Yeah, that's true, but... Yuichi, would you be okay to walk, to walk home on your own? I don't know if I want to leave you alone when you're looking like that. I, I I want to ask him to walk with me. I want to do anything I can to get him to come with me. That Alexander looms from behind me, glaring so, glaring so blightly at me that I find it hard to breathe. I get it, you don't trust me. You don't want him around me, I understand why. I messed up really bad. But can I at least get another chance? It's okay, I'm just tired. I can walk home no problem. You sure? I say the words that Alexander undoubtedly wants me to say. I don't have the courage to speak up against him, nor do I have the right. Right now, all I can do is my best. I can do is my best so I can make up for the terrible mistake I made. Alexander's whole purpose for being here is to protect Keisuke. Of course, he wouldn't let Keisuke go with someone who would hurt him. And I know how I look right now. To him, I might as well be some kind of abusive boyfriend. It's not like I gave him many other possible interpretations, did I? Okay, just call me if anything happens, okay? Of course. I look forward to seeing you again tomorrow, though. Yeah, I'll see you tomorrow. Let us get going, then. Do you want me for me to carry your bags, Keisuke? No, nah, don't worry about it. I'm used to carrying these. Biting me a quick farewell, Keisuke and Alexander turn, turn around a different corner, quickly disappearing from my view entirely. The last thing I see, I see, side of his, the last thing I see is the sight of Keisuke's back as he chats and laughs happily with Alexander. I feel like I'm going to be sick. I don't even realize what time it is when I get home. Somehow I'm vaguely aware that I've wandered around for way longer than I should have, desperately trying to clear my head. Like, all that's left to me is to wait and see what happens. Alexander will probably try talking to talking to Keisuke about what happened. I can't imagine Keisuke not discussing it with him. Those two are so close. Well, will Alexander convince him to break up with me? God, I hope not. But right now, I really need to find a way to make up for this. With thoughts like that, and without even showering first, I collapse onto my bed, letting the entire world fade to black around me. Wednesday, June 21st. For some reason, the voices of my classmates chatting and joking around was causing my head to throb and pound beyond belief, almost as if they'd been amplified by a factor of ten or something. If I didn't know any better, I'd say that everyone suddenly woke up with no sense of volume anymore. Of course, the idea of everyone else suddenly suffering from the same problem is ridiculous. Besides, the real reason is plenty obvious enough. My head is killing me. I spent all night clinging, clinging to my phone, waiting for any kind of message from KSK, something, anything that might tell me if Alexander had said anything to him, if things were still okay between us. God, I just wanted him to say goodnight to me, but he didn't. Not that I had the courage to message him myself, either. Man, I can be really pathetic sometimes, can I? Sometimes I get embarrassed by myself without even having to do anything. Mark! Whoa, are you alright? It's like a yell. Water time. Alrighty. Best years of my life. Never been better. What's up? Are you sure? You don't look too good. Did you have trouble sleeping last night? Who needs sleep? I sure don't. I'm fine. Totally fine. Completely fine. Absolutely fine. F yeah, yeah, you're fine. I got it. You don't need to keep repeating it. What happened? How come you didn't sleep? I, I had a fight. What? Are you okay? Are you hurt? Not that kind of fight. Oh, so you mean... Uh, okay, I get it. Still, you're pretty vague. What exactly happened? Me being vague? Gee, I wonder if it... Gee, I wonder if it was intentional. Uh, no, don't start snapping at me, June. Don't let yourself sink that low. Snapping at June, okay. I fought with Case K. It was a stupid thing, and I did something I wish I hadn't had. I wish I hadn't done. But I can't take it back now, no matter how much I want to. Oh my... <laughs> Jesus, June! Oh my god, you killed him? What? No, I didn't kill him. 
Why would that be the first thing you think of? I don't know, you're being so glum and serious about it. Sometimes I wonder why I even talk to people. Ugh, no, still being too mean. Dial it down, brain. I just can't help it. He hasn't talked to me since we left practice yesterday. My mind keeps thinking the worst. Was the fight that bad? What I did was that bad. What I did was that bad. Yesterday by itself wasn't too bad. Well, except for that talk with Alexander. That was all bad. He could have gone a bit easier on me. Like, I get why he didn't, but still. My shoulder still hurts. He could have snapped it out of the socket if he went just a little bit harder. It's a terrifying thing to think about. I get that it's his job, but that dude is obscenely strong. Holy crap, what does someone have to do to be that strong? Yuichi san? Uh, oh, sorry, I spaced out. What were you saying? I wasn't saying anything. I asked you a question, remember? Right, sorry, I forgot to answer. The fight was pretty bad. I don't think I'll ever I don't think I will ever stop being ashamed of it. Wow, that sounds serious. Yeah, it was. And now I'm worried he won't ever talk to me again. Aren't you exaggerating a little bit? Case KCN doesn't strike me as the type to completely cut ties to someone over a single fight. God, you have no idea how much I hope you're right. I just hope you didn't screw th I just hope you didn't screw things up in a way that can't that, 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 that can't be salvaged. This is the first time in my life that I've actually liked someone I'm dating. If it all ends just like that because of something I did wrong, then I... I wouldn't even know what to do. Hey, cheer up, okay? You won't get anything from worrying yourself sick. Just wait until later and talk to him about it. Heisuke san has been having, have, having lunch with us every day, hasn't he? You can pull him aside during lunchtime and ask him about it then. Yeah, you're probably right. In the meantime, I'm here if you need someone to keep you, dis keep you distracted. People always say that I'm really distracting. I don't think you're supposed to be happy about that. I thought it was meant as a compliment. Thank you, June. I, I guess I needed someone to tell me I was being stupid about it. Of course. You've snapped me out of so many downward spirals. The least I can do is try to help when I have the chance. You're a good friend. Aw, <laughs> you're welcome. Man, it doesn't take much to make him happy, does it? Gotta admit, it's pretty cute. And it does help me feel a bit, a little bit better. Yeah, I shouldn't be freaking out over this. There's a million reasons why Keisuke might not have messaged me last night. For one thing, he's not exactly a big texter. In fact, he hardly ever texts unless I start a conversation. Since I was wa since I was talking to him last night, he wouldn't have much reason to text me. And I doubt his reaction to Alex Alexander telling him what he said to me would would, uh, would be to just break away from me without a word. If anything, he's a type that would say something first. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm worrying about nothing. Being totally crazy, irrational, completely nuts! You know, water time. Um, you, what you said, the look on your face is really scaring me right now. Also, your face is twitching. Hey, please don't take this away from me. It's all I have. Okay, I'm gonna take a seat. Seat since class is about to start. Let me know if you need anything. Will do. Please feel better. With the ringing of the bell signaling the beginning of the first first period, students begin rushing back to their chairs before the teacher arrives. It's amazing just how fast some people can run when the bell rings, be it to get into their chairs or to basically run out, run out, of, run out of school once class ends. Though, I shouldn't say anything about it since I used to be one of those students. Gotta have at least some self-awareness. Our English professor walks in, quickly, make, quickly make, making any stragglers still left or loafing around, rush to their desks and shut up. For the entirety of the early morning classes, I keep finding myself too distracted to focus on what they're saying. I can already tell that I'm going to struggle because of this. A few hours later. Ugh, finally! I've been so worried and distracted waiting for lunch break to arrive that I couldn't concentrate on classes at all. And when I tried, I'd watch the teacher's mouths opening and closing over and over again before realizing that I didn't catch a word of what they were saying. It's been a while since I felt this scattered. It's a scary feeling. Now that I think about it. Hey, are you still alive? Of course I am! I don't know if I'd say of course to that. What's that supposed to mean? Nothing. I'm going to slip. <gasps> oh, crap. Whoa, what happened? My, as soon as I caught what I was about to say, my whole body went stiff, strangling my voice in my throat before I could even finish my sentence. I shouldn't say things like that. I, I can't. Oh, it it's nothing. You don't have to worry. But I just caught myself about to say something bad. That's, that's, that's all. Something bad? I don't think what you were about to say was bad. It's fine. Don't worry about it. Yuichi-san. Oh, good morning, Michimaya. Are you free? But, Sensei. Hey, are you talking to me? Yes, I do believe I called your name. Could you come with me, please? Well, how come? Did something happen? Katsuragi-san wanted to have a word with you. Since I'm your homeroom teacher, I asked to fetch you. But, but... Now, Michimaya... But, 
I was gonna talk to Keisuke over lunch. No, this isn't fair. Um, good luck. Please don't look like you're saying goodbye to me forever. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and pause it right there. Thank you all so much for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, ring that notification bell. Leave a super thanks, or if you can, it always helps. Until the next video, I love you all. I'll see you next time. Don't forget to check out that Patreon, y'all. Bye-bye.